Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I have my front door open. The construction workers just pulled up in front of our house to work on the house across the street. So I'm gonna try and film this quickly because um, they're gonna, I think they're gonna start the roofing today. And if I haven't said it yet, the ticking that you hear is the haunted mansion clock from Disneyland as well as a cuckoo clock that my husband purchased from his work. And I'm also fighting the morning sun um, I do have my front door open. It's over there and uh, the sun's going to be popping in pretty soon. So let me show you what I've done in my cousin this past week. In here is my reading journal in, in, in an old uh, A6 Techo that I am reusing, repurposing. I currently have it in my A6 boy and dog cover. It's a zip cover and I generally keep it in this little Daiso bag, but I um, decided not to put it in the video this time just so that you can clearly see the two covers so let me show you this I just want to show you the doodle that I did so uh, if this is the first time you're watching my video welcome to my channel uh, I generally doodle draw sketch the cover of the book that I'm reading while other um, I guess booktubers will print out the cover and then put it in their reading journal. So this one is mine. <laughs> the book that I'm reading right now is called episode 13. So there's my drawing and then there's the cover of the book. So because this is so pitch black and then the um, title of the book is white, as you can see, mine isn't as dark and I don't have, I have not been able to find a good white gel pen. So, uh, I took the liberty to change the color of the font and then the black isn't as dark as this. So this is my version. This is the real cover. So that is what I'm reading. And let me show you what I read. So this is the first book that I read for October, which is called Find Him Where You Left Him Dead. I still haven't read it yet. Um, so I'll probably do that tonight. And I've been trying to read every night. But here's my cousin. This is what it looks like now, 10 and a half months in. Um, pretty chunky. And in the monthly layout, I went ahead and decorated for November. Uh, the stickers are from Michael's that I purchased a couple of years ago. It was like a really cheap, cheap as in price, <laughs> sticker book of fall slash Thanksgiving stickers. And so it's lasted me quite a few years. And then uh, I have thin washi tape placed down on the page to indicate a trip that my niece, my nephew, and her boyfriend, uh, they're going to Japan for two weeks. And so I thought I'd go ahead and mark that down. This is for October. So I went ahead and put down more washi tape. This is from Daiso washi tape. And then we fall back on November 5. So we will gain an hour of sleep. So this is what it looks like. So this I keep really simple and try to keep uh, appo appointments. So Bruce's flea meds, our anniversary with Bruce. He had his nails trimmed last week. Uh, my car got a car wash last, well, yeah, I guess it would be last Monday because today is the 20th. And then we also filled gas. And then this is the month before. So you can see how uh, I keep it pretty simple. Okay, then let's go to the weekly. So I've been sticking with this layout. So instead of the vertical columns, here's a blank one for next week. And then let me show you one that's filled up like this. So here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I decided to do, to block it like this for the month of October. This is, again, either from an Etsy shop or from Michael's. Now you can see the sun. So let me talk faster. These are um, quarter boxes. Are they quarter? I think they're quarter boxes that I created. Packages I put over here. Yes. And then I put down daily tasks. That I need to do and I generally um, fill this out night before or the morning of so today's Friday so I will be filling this in I also did laundry yesterday so I need to put a sticker down for that 
Ooh, it's coming in. And let me show you what I did. So this past week, I hadn't been feeling that great. So you'll see that I put down a few extra. Let me switch this. Magazine clippings. So I left you last Thursday with Bruce. I was able to fill this in. I had another picture of Bruce. Friday uh, was when I filmed my video and uploaded. Um, so it was kind of a busy day, but I was starting not to feel that great. Um, so instead of putting down any photos, I just went ahead and put down this magazine cutting. I have some, some cute bananas, bean butterflies. On the 14th, I decided to fill it with a couple of quotes that I found online that I've been saving on my cell phone. So I put it on this page. And then this is um, another magazine cutout of a, I guess a picture of fall. It's still warm here in Southern California. I think we're expecting slightly cooler temperatures starting this weekend. So I'm looking forward to the cooler weather. Yeah, because we're in October. <laughs> It needs, it needs to start feeling cooler. So that's why I put this guy down. Now for Monday and Tuesday, I still wasn't feeling that great. So this was something that I found in a magazine. It's a UFO house. Here's the article that goes with that. So I went ahead, I just, you know, so it was like that. <laughs> and so I cut it in half, put one, put the photo on one page, description on the second page. was Tuesday Wednesday Thursday uh, so Wednesday I was starting to feel better and I started some nasturtium seeds for myself and my neck I try to grow that here's a photo of some marigolds that are doing really great outside uh, they're being shaded right now by an orange tree that I have planted over here doing really well so I thought I'd take a picture and I'm saving a lot of seeds from the flower heads so I thought I'd take a picture so that if these plants happen to die and then I'm wondering next year what color they were I actually do have an extra photo of this one that I plan on putting in my traveler's notebook garden journal that I am keeping in that and then here's Kit Kat so this is the neighborhood cat this is what he looks like when he wants to come in through our back door we have like a metal door in the back a security door that's what they call it and so that's what he looks like sitting at the door. Uh, this was him kind of rubbing his face on the kitchen table. That's my arm. And then there he is later sitting on my lap looking at me exactly like that. So I took a photo of it. And then here's Friday. So I need to fill this in later today. And that is a quick look of my cousin and my reading journal. That's Bruce. Hopefully you can't see all this dog hair on the floor. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you like to see after the pin videos of my Hobonichi. I will see you guys next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye.